Hello, next part is the additional terms related to the system. We'd like to look at a set of words from the root spiral. Inspiration. It is the act of drawing air into the lungs. Expiration is the act or process of releasing air from the lungs through the nose or mouth. We have more examples. Inspire, inspiration. Expire, expiration. Respire and respiration. Inhale, inhalation. Exhale, exhalation. Vital capacity is the greatest volume of air that can be expelled from the lungs after taking the deepest possible breath. Spirometer, it is an instrument for measuring the vital capacity of the lungs. Spirograph, it is an instrument for recording the depths and rapidity of the breathing movements. Oximeter is an instrument that measures the oxygen in arterial blood. Auscultation is listen to the sounds made by the various body structures as a diagnostic method. Stethoscope it is an instrument used in auscultation to convey sounds in the chest or other part of the body to the ear of the examiner. Hemoglobin. It is the red substance in the blood which combines with oxygen and carries it around the body. Sputum. It is mucous material from the lungs that is brought up by coughing. Mucolytic is any agent that dissolves or destroys mucus. Antitussive is a cough remedy to relieve cough. Expectorant is an agent that promotes the discharge or expulsion of the mucus from the respiratory tract. Decongestant. It is a drug that decreases pulmonary congestion. At lactosis is incomplete expansion of the alveoli. Bronchiectasis is chronic dilatation of the bronchus or bronchi. Cyanosis is a bluish discoloration of the skin caused by lack of oxygen in the blood. Epistaxis is the bleeding from the nose. Empyema is accumulation of pus in a body cavity, especially the pleural space, also called pyothorax. Hemothorax is the presence of blood in the pleural space. Asthma. It is a disease characterized by dyspnea and wheezing caused by spasm of bronchial tubes or swelling of their mucous membranes. Emphysema is a chronic pulmonary disease characterized by enlargement and destruction of the alveoli. Next one is a long one. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD. COPD is any of a group of chronic 
progressive and debilitating respiratory disease, which includes emphysema, asthma, and bronchitis. Diphtheria is acute infection of the throat and upper respiratory tract caused by the diphtheria bacterium. Pertussis is an acute infectious disease characterized by a cough ending in a whooping inspiration, also called whooping cough. Pneumoconiosis. It is a disease of the lungs caused by long-term inhalation of the dust, especially mineral or metallic dust. Tuberculosis. It is a chronic respiratory infectious disease caused by pathogen, mycobacterium, tuberculosis, or MTB. Now, I'd like to share a legend with you related to this system. It is Adam's apple. The Adam's apple, or laryngeal prominence, is a lump formed by the thyroid cartilage surrounding the larynx. It is usually a feature of adult males because its size in males tend to increase considerably during puberty. Adam's apple has two functions. The first one, to protect the walls and the frontal part of the larynx and the vocal cords. The second one is to deepen the voice. Maybe you are wondering why it is called an Adam's apple. The origin of Adam's apple goes back to the biblical story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. In the book of Genesis of Bible, an evil serpent tempted Eve and Adam to eat the fruit of knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden, which they had been told not to do by God. As the tale goes, God made a piece of apple get stuck in Adam's throat as a reminder of his sin. For more information, you can go to Webster's Dictionary